How's everyone doing? We are 13 minutes out from the Ghost Recon reveal. It's hard to believe that it's been uh, over two years since Ghost Recon Wildlands. That surprised me. Everyone's doing well, it's excellent. I'm doing well. We got we got announcements today, chat. I am so excited. I am so pumped. Today is gonna be a good day. Yeah, it's been leaked, but has the gameplay been leaked, Busted Cap? Or just the name? Hopefully just the name. Which I won't spoil. <laughs> Dying for a new Splinter Cell. I will be at State of Play and Monster Hunter. I will be heading to the studio after this and a quick lunch break. Huber's glasses, what's up? Play Resident Evil 6, I played Resident Evil 6 multiple times. Full playthrough, on game trailers and easy allies, so probably not uh, probably not gonna be diving into Resident Evil 6 for a while. Yeah, there's a Monster Hunter announcement, Mystical Ninja, right after the state of play. State of play at 3, Monster Hunter at 4. State of play, though, apparently is only like 10 minutes long, which is kind of concerning. So if it's all about medieval, you figure medieval is going to get like 3 or 4 minutes. That leaves like 6 minutes for others. That's what I heard, I don't know. I don't know what's rumor anymore. I don't know what's real. I don't know. Yeah. Expectations in check. But the point is, is that today is, is full of announcements and that's exciting. Whether they're big or small, not every day you get, you get multiple announcements. So I'm pumped. Expectations in check. I feel like this is going to be just Wildlands 2. Not the name, of course, but I feel like it's just going to be Wildlands 2, which is cool. Because I was pretty down on Wildlands before it came out. I was like, eh, it looks okay. Uh, but when it came out, it was pretty awesome. The reviews were also just okay. But I had a good time with, with Wildlands. <clears throat> And you got Frank Castle joining the party. Uh, I'm on I'm on it part two media blackout. Frank Castle, yeah, I, playing Ghost Recon Wildlands with Jones that little bit was amazing. Like, I'm, I haven't even seen this game yet, and I just want to play with Jones. Please. Needs to happen. Play with me, Jones. Yeah, I'm going to see Pikachu. Probably not tonight, though. I don't got tickets for tonight. Sup, Cybervan? Yeah, it's a new game. They just released a prologue similar to like uh, the Ubisoft formula now, similar to like Assassin's Creed Odyssey did it. They released the free quest Air of uh, Air of the Memories, and that that was free, but that led directly into the Fate of Atlantis DLC. So a couple days ago, they released a full-on quest with John Bernthal, Frank Castle. Uh, and I guess he's going to be starring in this game, or he's part of it, so it kind of leads into it, which is cool. Uh, my hype for Shenmue 3 is, is 98.5 out of 100 right now. I'm reserving the extra 1.5 for the, uh, official trailer. What's up, Mind Pain? I have no idea what to expect today. 
uh, AD Cogs. I have no clue if this is going to be a deep dive or a quick trailer. I wouldn't mind if John Bernthal showed up because he's a, he's a cool dude. I really like him. My dad loves him, which is cool. My dad endorses Frank Castle. <laughs> um, I could go for a trailer and then like a deep dive gameplay. That would be fun. The only thing that could get me to react like Shenmue 3 again would be Shenmue 4. That's it. Resident Evil Remake 3 would be pretty close. Because everyone's expecting it, but there's never guarantees in the video game industry. So. What's the prescription? You know, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I went with uh, I went with my mom and Beth. They took care of me. They looked out for me. Does it say on here? Maybe. No, just a bunch of like serial serial numbers. So you're too close for these. Like you're crisp, but you're still you're still crisp from this distance without them. You know? So I don't really need them. I read you loud and clear. Seven minutes. I'm excited. You know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a double-edged sword for me. With four-player co-op. Because Wildlands was four-player open-world co-op. Which is so cool. You can you can play one player, two player, three player, four player. You get to decide. Go wild, wildlands. Um, but when something is up to four players, I feel like that's creator's intent. Like that's the way to play. Even though it's all about options, I know there's no wrong or right way to play. But I can't help but feel like you have the a better time if you're playing with four people. But it's so hard to get four people. It's so hard. Especially all on the same page when you're when you're dealing with a story-driven game. You know? It's like, oh, I'm like five quests past that. Uh, I guess I'll do these quests again with you because you haven't done them. It's like, ah. It's tough. Um, I tried on a bunch of glasses and they all looked horrible on me, I feel like. So these were like the most mellow. Five minutes. Thanks, Simone. I've not checked the new Fortnite. I looked at the new map changes, it changes, and it sounds really cool, though. Neon Towers and Mega Mall. It sounds rad. I'll probably stream it for sure, like Saturday before or after Darkwood or something. I love a good balance of stealth and action. Again, with four players, it's really hard to stealth. You gotta be coordinated. You gotta be on the same page. Four like-minded players. Nice, Mega Babes. What kind, what kind of pasta? Yeah, this is this game will be out this year, for sure. I, I would, I would, I would make if I were a betting man. I would make that bet. Do 
Uh, no, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going to the studio for the Sony and Microsoft reactions. We're gonna be joined by some allies. Please be excited. It's gonna be hype. I mean, we're doing Monster Hunter reactions, so think about who's gonna be there. <clears throat> yeah, they're like building a a building couple miles down just like echoes what do I want to see in Monster Hunter I want to see I want to see Iceborne that's it show it all right here we go three minutes getting ready You know what I love? I love military tactical games. I just love it. Division 2 gets me so hyped. Rainbow Six, Ghost Recon. I'm all about it. I'm all about, like, get... Somebody earlier said that it, this is going to be Ghost Recon Wildlands, but in the future. That would have me the most excited. Give me future tech. Straight up. Give me that future tech. Nice Zen Gamer, RE2. Yeah, Ghost Recon, come on. I I have a feeling this is the year. This is the year for Sam Fisher. I'm excited. Here we go. Man, is there even that much difference between Division and Ghost Recon? Uh, Division has way more loot. Ghost Recon is like way story. And even though Division is like open world, the missions are super linear. Whereas Ghost Recon is like, here's a base. Go attack it any way you want. Drive a car right in. Snipe from a mountain. Go in stealth. One minute. One minute. John Wick 3 is my most anticipated movie of 2019. Period. Sorry, Star Wars. <laughs> Sorry. Baba Yaga, bro. Baba Yaga. Whoa. Time to alignment. Alright, here we go, chat. 20 seconds. It's exciting. Regardless, whatever they show, it's exciting, dude. Anytime you have a countdown to some world premiere, so hype. 12 seconds. What's it gonna be? I hope it's it's Frank Castle. Punisher skin for John Bernthal. <laughs> yeah, that was that was definitely an anti anti hands. All right, straight into it. Let's go. Welcome to Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. How's the audio chat? Same for me. Military shooter genre How about now? With realistic and challenging gameplay. As Better. a powerful sequel, Ghost Recon 2 introduces a dynamic shift to third person and supports up to 16 players in enhanced multiplayer modes. Better. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter improves the focus on team coordination and features actual military prototype Good. equipment and weapons. Cool. One year later. Ghost Recon it's maxed. Warfighter 2 There's a little more. A there, I maxed it. And multiplayer Max volume. Experience with the ability to command supporting units. Lower my mic. Yeah. 
Ghost Recon Future Soldier makes a shift to exhilarating cover-based gameplay with the inclusion of the sync shot, gunsmith, and adaptive camouflage technology. So high. 17 Ghost Recon Wildlands leads a tactical shooter into a breathtaking open world experience to explore either solo or up to four player co op, as well as in a tactical 4v4 PvP mode in Ghost War. of Ghost Recon. Very cool. I'm all about hey everyone. Timeline. My History. name's Emil Dalborn. I'm a U.S. Army Green Beret. Whoa. I've served with Special Forces for 14 years and have deployed all over the world. I'm also very proud to be a writer on a new Ghost Recon game. Being part of the not, Ubisoft team has been me. an incredible journey for me. It was not me. And we are so excited to me. share with you, our community, an experience that is going to Turn bring down, players man. closer to real special operations missions than ever before. Audio check one more time. When we launched Ghost Recon Wildlands, we released an action-packed open world military shooter that can be played in solo and up to four player co-op from beginning to end. We were completely blown away by your response. We are so grateful to our community that has grown to more than 15 million players. Wow. It's an honor. The stakes are high. <laughs> Today, we're super excited to introduce a brand new Ghost Recon game to you. So let's get to it. Dude, this is hype. Our story this is a great announcement so far. On a remote island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean called Aroa. The mythical golem was imagined as an artificial intelligence designed to serve and protect. The myth is now a reality. This self-driving vehicle crossed the entire United States without a human touching the wheel. The computer was creative. It outsmarted me every step of the way. Entrepreneur, visionary, genius. Jay Skell is planning to change the world. This is our first deployment of lethal drones. They have already saved countless U.S. lives. From our new headquarters on Aurora Archipelago, Scale Technology will, quite simply, build the future. Scale Tech drones will enhance industries across the globe. Fuck they will eliminate food shortages, Heal the sick, and in time, erase poverty. Mr. Skell, critics claim that with new autonomous systems, we risk summoning the devil. What do you say to that? We combine AI and machinery to serve humanity peacefully. I am personally dedicated to keeping that. This is terrifying. Scary. Machines that can act together and react faster than humans. They're cheaper and more efficient than any other measure. There's no doubt that swarm surveillance systems will reduce crime on our streets. <laughs> Would Mr. Scale care to comment on the recent assassination of a political candidate by a lethal drone? Mr. Scale has no comment at this time. Autonomous weapons are being developed and deployed without oversight or limitations. They are the next global threat. The UN must vote to enact sanctions on the spread of these weapons. We must act now. We've lost contact with Aroa. No way to reach Jake Skell. Yes, sir, I understand the risk level. We're sending them in. Ghosts are elite spec up soldiers. High stakes. The best of the best. But just how far can you push the ghosts? How strong are they? How much can they take before they break? A breakpoint is a forced posture change. Free castle. Shift from attack to defend. From defend to withdraw. 
recon to survive. It is the moment when a unit has lost its combat effectiveness, when it is no longer able to fight. The onset of this inability to carry out a mission constitutes a breakpoint. This is Ghost Recon Breakpoint. In the past, the Ghost had a plan. What if this time there was no briefing? What if this time the enemy expected them? Let's start at the beginning of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Your call sign is Nomad, a ghost sent to Aurora. You have been sent there for what seems to be a usual mission. Nomad this was in the first one, right? far from what is about to happen. Yo, I'm digging this survival element. From this point on, all of your military survival skills will be put to the test. Dude. As you make your way through this mysterious island, you will discover the majesty, the beauty, and diversity of this brand new open world. From snowy peaks to sandy beaches, wow. jungles, deserts, Fjords, even a volcano. But you're not on a row to site. Nestled in a beautiful archipelago and driven by the singular vision of accomplished engineer Jay Skell, they developed awesome environment autonomous drones. Hitman Skell's vibes mission there. is to make the world a better place. But the road to hell is paved with good intentions. In the wrong hands, Aurora could turn into the most dangerous place on Earth. And it does. On Aurora, you are no longer the hunter. You are the hunter. And even worse, the hunters are a unit of elite pickup soldiers gone rogue. They have the same training as you, the same experience. And they call themselves the wolves. And they have taken over the island. The wolves are the most formidable opponents the ghosts have ever had to face. Not only have they taken over Aurora, they've also reprogrammed Skell's drones to become powerful killing machines. You're lost behind enemy lines, and your enemy is powerful and merciless. So, ghosts, can you survive your breakpoint? Nice, and gameplay. This whole reveal is amazing. Really impressed. Good pace. Ghost 1-1, one, one, this is Ghost Lee. I'm two bikes at your location, but I got some bands on my ass. Rally on me to eliminate the threat. Copy, Ghost Lee. I'm on route to the RP. Time now. Gotta upgrade that stamina. from the arm where he got shot? That's really cool. Shit, that hurts. I like that the enemy was like, we hit him or whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Have we seen that in games chat? Rolling down a hill like that?
I've seen in movies all the time. survival here. I'm all about it. Crafting dopamine. first one was um, four player co-op, so I'd assume I would assume there's like a single player tutorial. That's probably this this part. It's probably like the intro ish. Yo, know, the cover on these trees looks really great too. The way he just kind of snapped to that. Ghostly, this is Ghost One Two. We're en route to your location. Dude, yes. Love a good mud mechanic. Nothing to report. I'm gonna continue my search. Reconning for location. You have hostile to my right. Copy. On target. Knife. 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 I'll bring you the fight to me. Be ready. Back up. Get yeah. Set, Good cover. Bravo team will set a diversion at the gate. Me and one one will fill the camp through the rear. Copy. It looks like the Mass Effect 1 vehicle. Breach. Yo, aliens nod. Let's, let's go. I wonder how many places you can do that. Like, cut a hole in a fence. Just any fence. Yo, these environments, too. I love these. Drones out. Where's Agent 47? <laughs> you just see him in the background. It's got like an iron. But they got numbers. Bravo team. Have eyes in your position.
The cover looks really great. Really seamless. Three hostiles. It's an Alpha Strong. Stand by. Go fleet to the shade. Have you spotted? It's so cool. This is what I mean. Four people. Damn, there's nothing here either. Nothing ever happens. Yo, if, if they slice his Achilles. <laughs> okay. Heavy weapons, here we go. Set, I have the drone. Drone's out. Ghost lead, we're set. Your knife kills. Something Division Two doesn't have, which really bums me out. Just stealth kills. What the fuck is that? Yo, Metal Gear. Like, civilians always raise the stakes, I love that. When it's just enemies, it can feel like video gaming, you know? But throwing in, like, terrified people, it's so intense. That's a class thing? Class abilities? Brad's gonna be doing that a lot. Carrying me on his shoulders. <laughs> I have you covered.
down. That was red. Time to go. Shit. Boss. Star Wars bounty hunter. And just some iPad, <laughs> just like I've got ya. Flaunting him. Shotgun pants. Wow. I heard his voice. You saw in this walk Frank Castle's was voice. made possible thanks to one thing experience. Seven <laughs> years ago, we started Wildlands with a team of 30. We now have more than a thousand developers focused on Ghost Recon. In the past oh. two years alone, wow. we've released 19 title updates. Breakpoint is bigger and better than anything we've done before. Wow. This new game puts you in the boots of an elite special operations soldier. And on Aroa, you'll need every bit of your training and experience to survive. The terrain has a real impact on your gameplay. It can be your enemy or your ally. You'll have to cross bodies of water and climb. Slopes will make you slide and tumble. But you'll have the agility and new skills. With the prone camo feature, you can truly blend into your environment, using your surroundings to escape or surprise your enemies. And to make the experience more immersive and intense, Players can also suffer serious injuries, and depending on the gravity of the wound, players will need to adapt. Can they still aim their rifle? Can they run and escape? Fortunately, you will also be able to heal yourself, either on the spot or in the brand new bivouac. Snake. The bivouac feature will allow players to rest and refit in the wilderness with their squad and do what real special operations soldiers do. You'll have a wide variety of tools at your disposal. <clears throat> You'll be able to cut through fences, unlock a drone that will allow you to sing-shot several targets, even in solo, or use a rocket launcher to take down enemies. But survival isn't only about fighting. It's also about stealth. You can pick up and hide the body of an enemy to remain yes. undetected, Excellent. or move your fellow wounded ghosts to safety. Finally, you'll be able to play as multiple yeah. classes and will be able to change class at any time from the bivouac. Four different classes will be available at launch, with more to come. The thinking behind many of these gameplay mechanics came from you, our community. Let's hear about how Ghost Recon Breakpoint has been inspired by your feedback. You have been our secret weapon in taking Ghost Recon to a whole new level. First, Ghost Recon Breakpoint will feature a new main story with hundreds of cutscenes, dialogue choices, hundreds and more characters for you choices. to discover. The variety of enemies you'll face will keep things interesting, to say the least. There are many enemy archetypes with different abilities and weapons, and they're dangerous, like this armored behemoth that'll take strength <laughs> and precision to take down. Enemy behavior has also evolved. If you get spotted, or if they become suspicious, your enemies will now coordinate together to take you on. Enemies will now always be on patrol throughout the world. A constant reminder that in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you're the prey. And to take them on, you'll now have fan favorites and all new weapons at your disposal. The Gunsmith will give you access to a ton of different attachments. It'll have a lot more impact <clears throat> on weapon statistics and performance. And you'll have even more options for character customization. And yes, this does include bloused boots. You'll be able to explore Aroa <laughs> on road and off, by air and by sea. 
and there'll be more military vehicles to traverse this new world. Wanna go fast? Take a falcon. Wanna plow through the jungle? Take a fat boy. A Wanna fat fight the wolves? Boy. Try a locust. Locust. Of course, Ghost Recon Breakpoint is fully playable in solo and up to four player co-op. And we are happy to announce that PvP will be available at launch for all players. But that's not all. You'll keep the same character throughout your whole experience in Breakpoint. This means you keep the same customization, the same skills, the same like weapons, that. the same progression across the entire game. Excellent. And this is just the beginning. Every four months after launch, we'll release a new major expansion episode to the game. It will include the very first raid in a Ghost Recon game. <laughs> Here's a taste of what's to come. Nice. Yo, control. This is crazy. <laughs> Mordor, dude. Mount Doom? <laughs> A lot of people put tons of passion into the making of this game. But we could not have done it without you, our community. And so it is our pleasure to present to you our world premiere. Our announced trailer for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Just more and more and more, jeez. So much. Ubisoft trailer is always so good. Cinematics. I am a ghost. An elite soldier. Is that Vegeta? Trained to strike my enemies before Wait. they know I exist. Sound like Death stalks me. But I survive. Coming any obstacle. Piccolo, man. Sound like Piccolo. Never surrendering. and sisters at my side. There is no fight we fear. Ghost 
too. I would expect nothing less. The twist at the end, dude. Frank, why? No, Frank. Ghost Recon Breakpoint is here. No cool. Strap on your boots, because you have a mission. Stay tuned to hear more, live from our studio. We'll be there to answer your questions. Good stuff. Wow. Whew. That was really cool. Very impressed. Very, very impressed with that. Um, yeah, wow. They, that was a deep dive. They showed a ton. Hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, the I'm just gonna mute Ghost Recon Breakpoint this announcement post show live stream from the Paris Studio. Um, because I gotta get over to the studio, get some lunch, and do all that stuff. Uh, if you wanted to watch the reactions, you can head over to twitch.tv slash ghost recon. That's what I'm uh, hosting here. If you want the uh, deep dive with the community managers and stuff, um, yeah, I'm pretty blown away by that that was just really fun that was that was how you do a reveal what was that that was 45 minutes that was but that flew by or 30 minutes even because it went live at 11 30 that's right so like a little over 30 30 minutes still that just flew had a really good energy really good pace felt the passion from everyone that talked uh, and just really cool, like showing, showing the map first, then showing the game plan, then showing kind of the story trailer and setting that up. Yeah, it just flew. It was all killer, no filler. And uh, I just like what they're doing with it. I like that it's about survival. You know, I think so many times in open world games, when you are this big, like... Who knows what's what it's gonna be like in the final game? Obviously, you know, you're gonna be you're gonna be strong, but like, you know, I think of Ghost Recon and it's like you're here to just own everyone. You're here to just do each mission, get your XP, get your loot, you know, but the fact that you're just being hunted now this entire time, it just feels so much more threatening. Trying to survive in this location just felt really high stakes, which I appreciated. So, yeah, different classes, love the mud mechanic, I am, I am very, I'm very hyped. Hopefully the guns need to feel good and different, for sure, yeah. Um, yeah, we pretty much just saw a machine gun, saw a sniper rifle for a second, and like a heavy machine gun. The heavy machine gun kind of looked similar. Just to the other stuff. Yeah, and the environments. Bloodworth, dude. Thank you. Can't go on Twitter, I guess. Life is strange spoilers. I just hope the existence of a raid doesn't mean this will be yet another franchise turned into an RPG by Ubisoft. It's a concern. It's a, that's a valid concern. But the idea for a raid for me is something to work towards. Something to make everything else you do matter. And that's what's fun. And, you know, like this mission, I bet you could just go in all four of you guns blazing and, and dominate. You know, it obviously they set it up scripted style where everyone was at a key point doing different things and that's awesome that's fun and exciting but i like the idea of a raid kind of forcing you to play smart and do stuff like that you know how many missions in this game will really require you to think tactically to ha to split up to have strategies instead of just being able to brute force your way through i like the idea of a ra the raid specifically Forcing you to strategize. <laughs> uh, 
I've had people wanting me to get Wildlands to play with them. What if what Breakpoint is offering still isn't enough for me to like want to get for my own, but it is good enough to gravitate towards if I bite. Yeah, I like the 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 the, the map is essential. You know, instead of like drug smuggling and stuff in the desert, it's future tech in the jungle. Just really cool. Looks like a great counterpart to Borderlands 3. Very similar game-wise, but total opposite tone and game speed, for sure. Game launches on October 4th. Yeah, I saw that at the end. This is Ubisoft's big game this year in Assassin's Creed slot, for sure. And, and that makes you wonder what uh, Watch Dogs 3 is up to. Is Watch Dogs 3 going to be March of next year? I'd bet on it. March 2020, Watch Dogs 3. Because I believe Watch Dogs was October. Watch Dogs 2. Yeah, October 4th. Release date. Watch Dogs 2 was a while ago now. I don't know the exact date, but it was a while. Ghost Recon Rewards Program. <laughs> this makes me want to go boot up Wildlands. Jeez. All right, everyone. Any other final comments? Just very impressed with that announcement. Again, really like the direction they're going. Did not... I, I, I figured I'd be excited for Ghost Recon, but now I am hyped for Ghost Recon. My goodness. Extremely hyped. Yeah, State of Play coming up. Coming up, we're going live at about 2.15, I believe, or 2.30. Um, we will be back here on easyallies.com. Twitch.tv slash easyallies is what I meant to say. 2.45 will be here. 2.45. Going to be hype. Uh, also love the stealth. Love the fireman carry. They're doing real life fireman carries. This is awesome. Uh, extremely excited for Brad to fireman carry me to safety. Pumped for that. <laughs> it's the thing I'm most excited for. <laughs> Alright everyone. See you soon. That was Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the reveal. We are Easy Allies. If you like what you saw, help us out on Patreon or Twitch.tv. And uh, again, we will be right back here at 2.45 for the State of Play and the Monster Hunter World re uh, updates, reveals, whatever they may be. See you then. One last thought. Sorry, I totally just botched my outro one last thing i wanted to give a shout out to the cover the cover in there i thought it was really cool it seemed really snappy really solid that stuff's so important you know division two has really good cover but it still feels kind of like it's like intense you know like i love division two's cover um but this just had a, a, a smoothness to it that uh, i wanted to give a shout out to all right, one last outro. We are Easy Allies. If you like what you saw, help us out on Patreon or Twitch.tv. And again, we will be back soon, 2.45. See you then.